My name is Huang Weiling, I'm a medical doctor from Brazil. I'm very happy to be here today to, to share this study entitled Energy Alterations and Chakras Energy Deficiencies as the Underlying Cause of Tremors. I have six specialties. The first specialty is infectious disease, though for the last 25 years, I've been working with traditional Chinese medicine in my own clinic in Brazil. And my last specialty is homeopathy too. And I will show you uh, this um, study in, in the, what are the energy alteration in patients with tremors. This presentation is based on Hippocrates' quote that said that it's important to consider other ancient medical traditions prior to the knowledge we have nowadays. For this reason, I choose to develop this lecture using traditional Chinese medicine reasoning. Essential tremor is one of the most common neurologic disorders and genetic factors are thought to contribute significantly to disease etiology. Essential tremor is an isolated action and tremors involving both upper limbs at least three years in duration with or without a tremor in other location. And in the absence of other neurological signs such as dystonia, ataxia, or parkinsonism, And it, it, it affects 5% of the road uh, population. And the most uh, used treatment for essential tremors includes the following medication, propanolol, primidone, clonazepam, gabapentin, and lopiramat can also be used. And current, currently there is deep brain stimulation surgery, surgery, similar to what is done in Parkinson's disease in which an electrode is placed in the region of the brain's thalamus. An electrical current is transmitted from the generator placed under the skin below of the clavicle. But in traditional Chinese medicine, tremor is considered as a result of an action of the pathogen wind, wind that can be internal when formed by the internal fire that is generated by the lack of energy of or external attacks uh, the body and penetrates deeply. And another factor that can cause tremor according to traditional Chinese medicine is energy deficiency in the spleen, kidney, liver, uh, that are caused by emotional disturbances inadequate nutrition, sexual excess, uh, old age, and chronic uses, uh, illness, <laughs> sorry, or a lack of rest and excessive mental work. The treatment according to traditional Chinese medicine are with acupuncture, herbal medicines, and diet to eliminate the wind that has penetrated the body and tone the organs that are without energies. And I will explain better on the next slides. As I showed, the lack of energy can increase the chance of having tremors. And in a study I did in my clinic from 2015 to 2020, I studied a thousand patients chakras energy Measure, I did a thousand chakras energy measurement. And uh, um, in this group, I could study 495 records. And in this study, I showed that in my patients nowadays, 90% had energy only in the seven chakra, that is the spiritual chakra, but the remaining organs, internal organs were are without energy. What's the meaning of this lack of energy in the internal organs? The, uh, each chakra uh, is responsible for one uh, massive organs in traditional Chinese medicine. The first corresponds to the liver, the, the second to the kidney, the third to the heart, the fourth to the lung, 
and the fifth to the spleen. And the sixth chakra corresponds to the memory and concentration. And you can see that the majority of our population do not have memory and concentration, and do not have energy inside the organs. What this means in the no energy inside the organs? Each organ is responsible for one external sensorial organ and for the production of energy for uh, our body to have health, to live adequately and to maintain the, their functions. For example, the first is responsible, the first its liver is responsible for eye and vision and is responsible for distribution of energy in the entire body. The second chakra that's kidney is responsible for the ears and is responsible for, for the hearing process. And the third chakra is the heart is responsible for the controlling the blood flow inside the vessels and is responsible for the tongue and sense, uh, um, um, the, the tongue and uh, the communication and, uh, and, and, uh, it, and responsible for the sleeping process too. And also patients with insomnia have uh, problems in this chakra because this chakra uh, usually are without energy and that's why we need to treat this chakra when the patient has insomnia and not only using medication to treat the symptom you need to treat the root the fourth chakra is the lung and responsible for the sense of the smell and is responsible for the nose and also for the distribution of the energy inside the body and the fifth chakra is, is the spleen responsible for the absorption of nutrients and the production of blood inside our body. And when all these organs are in the lowest level of energy, we can, it does mean that uh, they are not working properly to produce these energies to maintain health and energy in TCM means immune system. And that is why in my study, I think this kind of population, I think is happening in the entire world nowadays, because one of the cause of this lack of energy inside the body could be the, the influences of the 5G technology in our body, in our human body. And the, the 5G or the, the Wi-Fi and the, all the technology to, to maintain the all cell phones working properly are causing, are harming our human body, leading to this lack of energy. And when we study, do some laboratory exams, these do not appear in the laboratory exams because there, there is a need to have a more than five to 10 years of energy deficiencies to develop some alterations in the laboratory exams. And you can see that in this study, I'm divided in three groups in uh, children, adolescents, young adults, and older patients. They have common diagnosis of anxiety, depression, headache, knee pain, low back pain, panic syndrome, all these uh, common diagnoses are, uh, they have in the background uh, lack of energy. And this lack of energy is causing nowadays the pandemic of uh, COVID-19 because of lack of immune system in our population. And here I'm showing you that for each uh, Western diagnosis, there is an um, uh, Chinese diagnosis that are, which are the energy alterations leading to this kind of manifestation in the Western diagnosis. Before I explain the case, uh, I will show you, I think, four case reports in this presentation about the tremors. Before I do the, the, uh, this um, report, uh, description of this four case report, I would like to show the reasoning I used to treat the patients that started doing the treatment of one specific patient in 2006. This patient was a 70-year-old male patient who reported pain in the legs 
and was diagnosed with kidney yang deficiency. And he received, and he was having pain in the legs for six months and was using anti-inflammatory medications without any improvement. And he started, uh, he, he went to my clinic and we began the treatment with Chinese dietary counseling, acupuncture and auricular acupuncture. And uh, after 10 acupuncture sessions, he report, he returned to be reevaluated. And he also said that his intraocular pressure diminished with the treatment done for the pain in the legs. But when I was doing the treatment for the pain in the legs, I was not aware that he had glaucoma for the last 40 years with no improvement. And with this treatment, he said that for the first time of his life, his intraocular pressure decreased from 40 to 17 mmHg. And after this, uh, this case, I began to be a researcher at the Sao Paulo University in Brazil to study how the treatment of the energy imbalances could improve the intraocular pressure in glaucoma patients. And this case was the cornerstone of all my studies, try to comprehend the treatment of all symptoms and disease using the root of the problem and not just the symptom. And today, now I will share the first case report. This was a 16-year-old uh, 16, 16 male patient. He was a pre-college age, being um, hunkbacked and very introspective. And uh, like uh, may, uh, all the young patients, they used to use his cell phone and computer accessibly during the day. And he went to my clinic because he had the tremors on his hands uh, for the last uh, one or two years. And his father was already my patient, but he don't have tremor, but his father was treating another kind of knee pain. And uh, I did the measurement of his chakras energy and all chakras were without any energy of this patient of 16 years old. And here's the result that all his internal organs were without energy with the exception of the spiritual chakra. This is the crystal that I used to use in the radiesthesia procedure where I put this crystal in front of each chakra and to see the movement of this uh, crystal when in front of each chakra and you can see if the chakra has uh, energy or not. But the majority of these, his internal organs were without energy. The, the crystal do not move in front of each chakra, meaning that these chakra do not have energy. And what could this um, uh, lack of energy influence the, the, um, result, the, the manifestation of the tremors? And according to Hippocrates, we need to use our food or medicine or our, our medicine or our food. And the first step was to orientate him to avoid all uh, dairy products here, dairy products, raw food, cold water and sweets, because all these foods could induce the less absorption of nutrients by the spleen and pancreas meridian, leading to less energy to the entire body. And the second was the avoidance of a coffee, soda, and matcha tea, because these drinks could induce the kidney energy deficiency, leading to less production of yin and yang energy, and also, to reduce or avoid the consumption of eggs, honey, coconut, chocolate, alcoholic beverages, and melted cheese, because all these food could induce more formation of internal heat. That was one of the cause generating internal heat and leading to internal wind and leading to tremor symptoms. And here I is showing the second step was uh, after Chinese dietary counseling to use the apex dilating to take out the heat that is causing the, 
the fire for me, um, the internal fire that's leading to the wind. And the, the, through this procedure, we can reduce the fire and also to tone the internal organs that were without energy. Here, I'm showing you the anxiety points and the, the kidney, liver, spleen, lung, and heart. And also this point is to, is, uh, to the, the patient sleep adequately because it's during the sleeping process that the patient could uh, replenish his in, internal energies organ. And when the patient do not sleep adequately, he will not uh, replenish these organs adequately and will not improve his symptoms. And here I'm showing you the theory entitled Constitutional Homeopathy of the Five Elements based on traditional Chinese medicine is a theory that I created uh, when I began a homeopathy course in 2015 in Brazil, because when the, uh, the internal organs do not have energy in China, they usually use Chinese herbs to treat the patients. But in Brazil, we have Chinese herbs too, but it's more difficult to find and it's a little expensive for the patients. And that's why I, I decided to begin homeopathy course. And during this course, I began to write the, the, another homeopathy theory linking with traditional Chinese medicine reasoning. And nowadays I can treat all my patients using TCM reasoning, but using a Western me medications to, uh, the, it's less expensive and it has less uh, adverse effects. And also with this kind of treatment, he had more energy and he, it was possible to reduce his tremors very much. And this patient was in the, um, uh, doing so many, uh, test is to go to the faculty and he disappeared. I don't know what he now, what uh, is his evolution, but uh, during the treatment, he improved his tremor symptoms. The second case report is a 23 year old female patient and she'll develop tremors due to the overuse of cytotropic medications because his history, her history began in 2018. The patient started to have constant nausea, vomiting, and thinking that she was pregnant, and then controlled the crying, too much sleep, heart beating very hard, head racing, shortness of breath, and when she had a panic attack, anxiety, and depression, she couldn't even walk because the legs were will be. And she went to a psychiatrist that prescribed all these kinds of antidepressant and solitic and medication to control the depression and anxiety symptoms. And also uh, because of uh, she she started to to have side effects, her psychiatry changes for this kind of medication, citalopram, citalopram, venlafaxin, and all these kind of medications. And uh, she reported that uh, the side effects reported by the patient was memory problem, short-term short memory is very poor, excessive sleep, did not gain weight with the medications, did not feel any change in appetite and the nausea disappeared completely. And there were always tremors, but they were very imperceptible. And after starting the use of medicines lithium, they became much more evident concentrated and intense. And the patient was seeing with her psychiatry a medicine for Parkinson's to stop the tremors because the tremors were not allowing her to write and handle some objects besides causing discomfort due to the fact that 
people around her always ask and notice what causes an embarrassment when having to explain personal problems to strangers. And also I did the Chakra's Energy Center's uh, measurement and it was all her internal organs without energy. I think this was the causes of her anxiety and depression. And, uh, but uh, uh, normally Western uh, uh, physicians normally prescribe this kind of medications to treat the anxiety and depression and could harm even more this state of the lack of energy that I will show you why. And her treatment consisted in Chinese dietary counseling, and auricular acupuncture with the replenish of organs with homeopathy medications. And um, after this treatment, she, she also disappeared because she was using so many medications and she was using also uh, many psycho uh, psychological, uh, psychotropic medications. And uh, I only bring her case to show you the, the results of the chakras energy that are, are, are very low in energy. And that's why it's very important to treat this lack of energy that is behind the, all the symptoms presented by the patients. And the third case report is a male patient. He has about um, 55 years old, I think nowadays. He had worked as a public official in the area of public health performing chemical and biological control of vectors, inspecting locations and capturing harmful animals, handling and applying chemical solutions such as insecticides and collecting materials for laboratory tests. And several surgeries on bones and dental implants. He had a knee, a knee implant here in his knee and he has a dental implants that I will show you that these could cause, these implants could cause the reduction in the energy leading to tremor symptoms too. And he did the chakras energy measurement and all his internal organs were in the lowest level of energy and the treatment was the same Chinese dietary counseling auricular acupuncture with apexial blood letting. The apexial blood letting is a very important procedure in these patients to reduce the formation of internal fire that is causing the formation of wind and uh, the tremor symptoms and the replenish of, of all these internal organs and energy to reduce the production of fire and wind. And the fourth, uh, and after the, uh, that treatment of the third case report, he improved it very much. He is still in treatment nowadays, but he has, because of the last year pandemic of COVID, he, he didn't come to acupuncture sessions. And um, he returned only this year, and he he reported that his tremor were uh, were was very um, decreased, but he is still having some symptoms and sometimes. And after uh, this uh, last case report, is a seventy year old ma uh, female patient. This patient has been doing acupuncture chronically for seven years here in my clinic due to depression, excessive weight as well, and she was a widow patient. And the son of this patient is a dentist and decided to put eight titanium implants in her teeth. After passing with the implants, he decided to look for, and she decided to look for another dentist who had the treatment, but kept the titanium implants. And after a month, after a month of putting the implants, she developed the tremors. And the patient neurologist ordered the test to see the central nervous system involvement, but gave nothing. All the exams were normal, including the nuclear magnetic resonance imaging. 
was already normal. And a year before the implant placement, the chakras are, were, had already been measured, which were all without energy. And during the initial years of treatment, the patient developed diabetes, which may have helped it to decrease her energy. And here's the, the result of her chakras energy measurement. And uh, her, she had eight in titanium implants. And there I have uh, one study entitled Chem Metallic Implants it, uh, Induce uh, uh, Some Disease in the Body. I will show you in the next presentation. And uh, here is I'm showing you, I show you this tree metaphor in the, my the presentation yesterday is a comparison between Western medicine perspective and traditional Chinese medicine perspective. This tree symbolizing the human body. This tree has a trunk with several branch. Each branch represents one medical specialty and coming out of each branch, you can see many leaves. And these leaves represents one disease on symptoms treated by one medical specialties. In this case, tremors is one leaf in the neurological specialty. And Western medicine usually treats the leaf, they treat the tremor itself. And now the exams and treatments are based on localized treatment. That is the central nervous system. But in TCM, they understand that they see the, see the symptom, but they understand that this could be a manifestation of some problems at the root of the tree and also the influence of the external pathogenic factors that could be cold, wind, heat, humidity, and dryness. And in this root, there are two theories that. Um, that uh, it, TCM is based. It's the yin and yang theory and the five element theory. And yin and yang theory, it, here's a yin and yang symbol symbolizing that uh, they need to be in harmony. And all the treatment bases on this balance state between yin and yang. And when there is some imbalance between yin and yang, there are some clinical manifestation of the, the patients. In this case, when yin is less than yang, it's very common to see uh, patients in menopause when they have hot flashes and, uh, the, uh, and many common in patients in menopause, but we can see diabetes formation. It came from yin deficiency and all autoimmune disease came from yin de deficiencies in excess uh, or young deficiency here, you can see in many cases of, uh, for example, you know, woman with urinary incontinence, woman with uh, uh, cold feet, and woman with uh, obesity, and so many uh, disease came from in the, uh, young deficiency here too. And young yeah, excess, as you can see, that some patients that has, for example, uh, excessive ang ang anger can uh, increase the young energy of the liver, leading to hypertension and even some cases of strokes came from an increase of young energy of the liver. And in this chart, I'm showing you the balance state between yin and qi and blood that we need to achieve in our treatment. Yin and yang are produced by the kidney or the second chakra. Qi is controlled by the first chakra that is the liver and the, the lung. And blood is, product, uh, is produced by the fifth chakra and controlled by the heart, the third chakra. And uh, uh, as you can see in all these four case reports, all the chakra were in the lowest level of energy, meaning that these for energy were not produced adequately, leading to a less energy and leading to the diverse manifestation of the disease, in this case, leading to tremors, but they could lead to so many kinds of the disease. And that's why when we treat this um, 
energies, we will balance again the patient and he will improve, he will have more health, more energy and to do everything that he needs to survive. And here is the balance, uh, the imbalance the state between one or a combination of these four energies leading to formation of internal heat. This combination in deficiency and heat retention is very common in diabetes patient, but we can see the formation of internal heat in many emotional patients, such as the patients with anxiety, panic syndrome, schizophrenia. So many patients with emotional symptoms came from these energy balances and leading to formation of heat. And also many physical, uh, uh, disease such as diabetes came from indeficiency and heat retention. Cancer patients came from all these four energies deficiencies with heat retention. And that is why I have, uh, I, I have, in my daily practice, I have the opportunity to treat some cancer patients and I have good result that is already published only using replenishing these energy deficiencies and taking out these internal heat and curing cancer patients that has malignant diagnosis and the turning benign only using this kind of treatment. Here's to show you that all the internal organs in TCM are interconnected by the energy uh, differently from the Western medicine perspective when each organ is working isolated. For example, liver receives energy from the kidney and liver sends energy to the heart and heart sends energy to the spleen and the spleen to the lungs and lungs to the kidney. And one element can control the functioning of the other. And this is a dynamic process. And as I show you, all these internal organs were without energy and one element cannot send energy to another. And one of the problems that occur in our days is in patients with COVID-19, all of them, they have these energy deficiencies. And the, the main problem here is when the patient are having dyspnea symptoms. This is only to show you that when the lungs send energy to the kidney and kidney do not have energy to receive this energy transmission, the patient will have the dyspnea symptom and dyspnea symptom in COVID-19 is because of this lack of energy in the kidney leading to the lungs manifestation. And that's why we need to replenish these chakras energy in our patients, also in COVID-19 patients because they are having symptoms because of this lack of any energy and not only the manifestation of the virus itself. Here's to show you that the correlation between one chakra and in TCM, there are studies in the literature correlating chakras with the five elements in TCM. I want to repeat again. And tremors can be caused by poor chi malfunctioning that cannot attack fluids and blood to tendons and nutritional channels. And when fluids and um, blood do not nourish tendons as well as fire obstructing uh, the tendons further preventing fluids and blood from nourishing them. Wind is of young nature and tends to damage blood and, and in. What you need to understand in this presentation is not all this it is very difficult to understand, but you need to treat the patient's deficiencies to reduce the formation of internal fire. And you, take, you need to take the fire through Chinese dietary counseling. If you can use uh, acupuncture, you can use the apex of blood Latin. But if you do not have this procedure, you can use some homeopathy medications to take out internal fire too. Why homeopathy medication? I will show you later in the next slide why I use homeopathy and not other kinds of medications.
Here I'm showing you that all diabetes patients, they have chakras and energy deficiencies too, leading to hyperglycemia. And the use, the replenishing of these chakras energy using homeopathy medication, uh, according to that theory that I told you, constitutional homeopathy of the five elements, the patient will reduce the hyperglycemia. Even they were using dietary regulation, anti-glycemic medication, and Easily because these kind of treatment nowadays are not treating the energy deficiency that they have in the root of the tree. And you need to treat the root and not just the symptoms that are the hyperglycemia. And the, the anxiety patients also have chakras energy deficiencies. And why do patients still have anxiety symptoms despite the use of psychotropic medication? When you treat the leaf of the tree, when you use this kind of medication, you, you reduce even more the lack of energy that they have in the root of the tree. And that is why they will maintain all the energy deficiencies that are causing the anxiety symptoms. That is why we need to uh, know that the patient has energy deficiencies and try to reduce this kind of medications that are inducing more energy deficiencies leading to more internal fire formation and more tremors in that case report of the second patient. Uh, she she are, uh, She's using so many psychotropic medication, one to treat the side effects of the other, and uh, I think 20 uh, kinds of medication per day. And in the third case, it's essential tremors in words uh, in an endemic disease control agents is exposed to pesticide. This pesticide, he can absorb this uh, kind of uh, substance in the body leading to less uh, energy inside his body and also his this third case he has implant inside the body and implant in the knee leading to the last uh, less energy inside his body and here's to show you the iron Schultz law why i'm using highly diluted medication instead of high concentrated medication this law was were, was created in 1888 by two german researchers and they showed that when the patient is using highly concentrated medication any kind such as uh, uh, antiterm and antibiotic, anti-inflammatory, insulitic, antidepressant, antihypertensive, anti-diabetic, all the medication, they will decrease even more the vital energy of these patients. And that's why it could be a lateral. The patient could, um, could die uh, because of this lack of energy induced by the medication. And that's why it's very important in this case to use the highly diluted medication to improve the organic process, improve the vital energy of these patients leading to more health state. And that's why nowadays, according to the research I did in my clinic, uh, uh, quite a hundred percent of my patients do not have energy. And that's why nowadays I do not use high concentrated medications, only in some cases that uh, could uh, be dangerous for the patients, such as some infectious problems. But for the last uh, more than 10 years, I'm not treating infectious disease process. Uh, I am only using Chinese tools, using Chinese dietary counseling, ac acupuncture with apex or blood letting. Even if the patient has hospital infection, nosocomial infection, I can treat this condition only using that. The same tools I, I showed you in my presentation uh, is the same tool used in the patient with the pain in the legs and glaucoma that we can treat all, all kinds of the disease using this kind of treatment. And um, uh, uh, it's important to reduce this kind of medication to don't harm even more the vital energy that is already low 
leading to more complication. In this case, the complication is the formation of tremors. And in this article that I wrote, published in 2019, came by a material surgical implants, influence the body's health, in this article, I'm showing two or three case reports of patients that were with um, severe depression symptoms, but the, the depression nowadays, I think it's not this term, uh, this diagnosis, depression is nowadays is because of this lack of energy in our patients. And what we need to do in our patients nowadays is to replenish all these energy that is lacking in the chakras. And uh, even if they have implants, you need to replenish because the formation, the, this implant can reduce the vital energy as in the same form of the use of high concentrated medications and leading to more propensity to have the formation of some disease in the future, such as the diabetes, hypertension, myocardial infarction, cancer, any chronic disease came from the energy deficiencies in the chakras energy centers. And the results are the through apex blood Latin, taking out the heat and using homeopathy to tone the internal organs. And the, the energy deficiency reduced it and the, the, and the tremors of all the patients improved with this treatment. And you can see that the tremors in this case is not a manifestation of synthesis central nervous system, but is a systemic disorder. You need to treat it systemically and not only localized treatment. And the conclusion of this study is that the tremors has energy alteration and chakras energy deficiencies as the underlying cause. And the, you, the, to have both kinds of medicine in mind, it's very important to you to understand the formation of tremors in the root of the tree and the root level and not just treating the symptoms. And um, here is uh, the show, this uh, presentation was already published the last year. According to Hippocrates, natural forces within us are the true healers of the disease. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, I will be very, very happy to answer it. Thank you.